Hi guys, and welcome to Masters Personal Training. When is the best time for you to work out? One of the questions that I get asked a lot as a trainer <clears throat> is what times are best for me to be exercising? And there's actually a, it's a multi-level answer because um, everybody's different. <laughs> What's the best time for you to be training and the best time for me to be training are two completely different answers. It depends on a multitude of different things. Um, one is the, your availability of time. For some people, they've got more flexible time and uh, they can pick and choose really when they train. Um, those people are very fortunate. And then for other people, then they don't really have that choice. It's a case of if I don't train before work or if I don't train after work, then I'm not gonna to get to exercise today because those are my only two training times because of work commitments or family commitments or any of that type of stuff. So if you fall into that category, then don't worry too much about, for you, the best times to train because it's more important that you actually go and exercise and get your body healthy and work out than it is to be stressing about what time, oh, it's not really optimal for my body to be exercising at this time of the day because your choice is either don't exercise when you've got the opportunity to or exercise when you've got the opportunity to. And it's always better to, to do something rather than nothing. Let's say you've got a few different options of when you can actually exercise. You could exercise first thing in the morning before work. You've got the choice of exercising after you finish work or you've got the choice of uh, exercising late on in the evening. When is it going to be optimal for you? Well, when is your energy the highest? When are you going to get the most out of that workout? When, have you got the, when is your brain and your body the most fired up and it's got the most energy? For me, my optimal training time is around 2.30 in the afternoon. Now, part of that is because of conditioning of how I've trained for years and et cetera. And part of it is um, usually by that point, I've had plenty to eat. My uh, energy levels are nicely topped up from what I've eaten for breakfast, snacks, and lunch. And it's had a chance to saturate into my system. So my body's fired up and raring to go. But there are times where I wake up in the morning and I've got more energy. So I might slip a, an early morning workout in and there are times where I've not had the opportunity to train during the day, so I'll train in the evening. Depending on when your energy is highest, you might want to train late in the afternoon or first thing in the morning. Let's talk about optimal. If your body is well balanced and you're waking up feeling refreshed and vitalized, when would it be the best and the most optimal time for you to actually train? And it's actually first thing in the morning. So on a health basis, Exercising in the morning is better because your stress hormones should actually be high at that point. And when we exercise, we want our, our stress levels, our cortisol levels to be relatively high because cortisol is a, uh, it's a training stress release hormone. So you exercise, you produce cortisol, you wake up in the morning and you're producing cortisol. So we're kind of working with our body's rhythm as opposed to working against our body's rhythm. So it is more optimal to train first thing in the morning and then let the cortisol drop down over the day because as cortisol drops off, things like melatonin, so your sleep hormone, actually start to rise up so that when it comes to bedtime, you're nice and chilled and relaxed and all that kind of stuff. But that's optimal based on uh, the body's natural rhythms. It's not always the case where someone like yourself can actually train first thing in the morning because you start work early or you can train uh, you know straight after work because you've got to get home and you've got family commitments or whatever or you might be on a shift pattern where some days you're working late some days you're working mornings and you've just got to slip those workouts in so always remember that there's the body's optimal and there's your optimal and what's most important is that you know you get your workouts in and take your body in the direction. And as you know, uh, you get more control over your, over your body's rhythms, you might find that you, know, you, can, uh, you can get a few morning workouts in there, okay? If, it, if you can't, then don't stress about it because there's nothing you can do about it anyway. And stressing about things you have no control over doesn't do you any good.